She pointed to a table filled with goodies, four apples, five sandwiches, six juice boxes, three bags of chips. Remember, she added with a wink, it has to be exactly ten items. Let's see how good you are at counting. Jillian scratched her head. How about we start with four apples? Good idea, said Kelvin. He quickly added, then we can take three sandwiches. Aunt Doris smiled. How many do you have now? Jillian started counting on her fingers. For apples plus three sandwiches, that's seven items. Great. Aunt Doris nodded. You need ten items. What else can you add to make it ten? Calvin thought hard. We could add three juice boxes. But wait, seven plus three is... Ten! Jillian shouted. Perfect! Aunt Doris cheered. Now let's pack them all in the basket. As they walked to the park, Aunt Doris challenged them again. If we eat two sandwiches and drink one juice box, how many items will be left? Jillian counted. Ham. Ten minus two sandwiches is eight, and minus one juice box is seven. We'll have seven items left. Excellent math, Jillian. Aunt Doris said. At the park, they spread out the picnic and had a wonderful time sharing their food. By the end of the day, Jillian and Kelvin had learned not just about addition and subtraction, but also how math could be fun and helpful in everyday life. Aunt Doris winked. Math isn't just for school, it's for picnics, too. Lesson the story introduces addition and subtraction using relatable items, helping children understand math in real-life situations. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.